Before you skip this video, make sure you don't use the internet or own a social media account, because the information I will be sharing with you in this video is extremely vital as it has to do with NFTs, the new technology we would be living with for the rest of our lives. NFTs are hitting the mainstream media and whether you like it or not, NFTs are coming to you and more like to live with you for the rest of your life because the big techs, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and their likes, that are part of our everyday lives, are venturing into it, and that means there's no way you can ignore or avoid it, unless you don't want to get on the internet or better still, use the social media. So getting to know what is NFTs, how it works and how you can make money from it which is basically what we will be discussing in this video is not just important, but very expedient. So if you don't use the internet or have a social media account, then you can go ahead and skip this video, but if you are on social media and uses the internet which is why you're seeing this video now. Then, make sure you watch this video till the end as that would help you understand everything about NFTs, the newest technology we would live and interact with for the rest of our lives. Hi, I'm Waffer. Sam Tuchukwu. From Project Cryptocurrency Education and welcome to today's episode of Crypto Pinkboard Monday, where we take complex cryptocurrency topic, write them down and explain them in simple English. So today's topic is NFT and for a better understanding of the topic, we would be discussing, what is NFT, how NFTs work, how to make money from NFTs and some key facts about NFTs. Now let's begin. In a technical definition, NFTs. A short for non-fungible tokens are pieces of cryptographic tokens that exist on a blockchain. They're used for real-world items like artwork, music art, and even real estate, but in a virtual capacity. Unlike cryptocurrencies, NFTs cannot be traded or exchanged because they are not identical to one another. Now, you may be wondering what does non-fungible mean? First, let's understand what fungible means, since non is just a prefix attached to it. Fungible is an economic term which refers to a good or asset that can be exchanged for another good or asset of equal value. Take for example, a dollar bill is fungible because it can easily be swapped for another dollar bill of the exact same value. So, if something is non-fungible, it means it can't be swapped for something of completely equal value. A tract of land is non-fungible, since land is unique, and finding another tract with the exact same value would be difficult or even impossible. Art is another good example of a non-fungible asset, since its value is highly subjective, and this is where NFTs come in. An NFT simply shows exclusive ownership of a particular digital asset, for instance, a piece of art, an in-game purchase, or a tweet. You might purchase an NFT at a certain price, but because it's non-fungible, its market value is likely to fluctuate. Before we talk about how NFTs work, let's also understand what exactly the word token means. Well, you might have heard the word token and coin when talking about cryptocurrency. We often use these two terms loosely and interchangeably. But do you know that the two terms represent two completely different meanings and concepts? There has been quite some confusion around these two terms, so let me explain and help you better understand. And this is very important for us to understand with regards to the topic we are treating. Tokens in this regard are cryptocurrencies built on another blockchain that's not original to the said cryptocurrency. And NFTs are built on Ethereum blockchain, which is native to Ethereum, the world's second most popular cryptocurrency. Hence, NFTs are tokens and never considered a coin and not even a cryptocurrency. And I know you may be wondering what am I talking about now, but don't bother. I will explain later on in this video just make sure you watch till the end so you never miss anything. Now, let's talk about how NFTs works. In understanding how NFTs works. The first thing you need to know is that NFT is not a cryptocurrency. Well, NFTs are often bought and sold using cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, but they are not cryptocurrencies themselves. Like dollars and other currencies, cryptocurrencies are fungible. You can trade one Bitcoin for another Bitcoin because they both have the same value, which means you'll still be left with one Bitcoin. Since NFTs are unique, they have no equivalent value other than what the market is willing to pay for it. Now, you may be wondering what then do I get when I buy NFT, since it's not a cryptocurrency? Well, an NFT can only have one owner at a time, when you buy an NFT, 
you purchase the exclusive ownership of a particular digital asset. However, this doesn't mean that you own the exclusive rights as to who gets to look at or share that particular artwork. So what you get when you buy an NFT is simply the ownership of the said NFT and nothing more. However, you can resale an NFT to a willing buyer, though the market is not as big as other money market as at the time of making this video. Meanwhile, the NFT market is booming as it's going mainstream, and the big techs, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and their likes are jumping on it, and this would definitely expand the market exponentially making early investors cash out big. With an estimate of over $4 billion monthly trading volume, a total of over $23 billion has been traded in the NFT market as at the time of making this video. For a deeper dive into the NFT market, the most expensive NFT sold to date, called the Merge by Pack that sold for a whooping sum of $91.8 million which is an art by NFT artist Beeple and was from Beeple's Everydays. The first 5,000 days, a 5,000-piece digital collage. The owner of this NFT is Vignesh Sundaresan, founder of the Metaverse NFT project and the Bitcoin ATM provider, BitAccess. Well, Sundaresan is the official owner of this NFT. But this image has been copied, shared, and seen by millions of people around the world, and that's fair game. So, when you buy an NFT, it's a little like buying an autographed print. The NFT is signed exclusively to you, but anyone can view the work. An NFT can be any digital asset. So far, they've included artworks, tweets, GIFs, songs, in-game purchases, essays and domain names, and that is basically what NFTs are. Well, investors are now seeing NFTs as a moneymaker. Some seem to see NFTs as something similar to a gold rush, but a digital version. For example, an NFT creation like CryptoPunk is greatly increasing in value by crazy amounts. An estimated amount would be 71,000% from $1,646 to $11.8 million in a short amount of years. You know, the mentality of many investors is to jump on the bandwagon especially if it is trending. All in all, the NFT market and investment potential is astronomical. And the element that is growing is more within crypto investment in the tech industry. Many may not realize that the NFT market is growing faster than many other industries. In general, the NFT market had nearly 18,000% growth in a year. The market for NFTs and industry in general has generated over $23 billion in sales as at the time of making this video. This 18,000% growth in transactions is translating into a thriving and healthy economy. For example, the industry reached $3.4 billion in sales alone earlier on in 2021 and currently trading at an estimate of $4 billion monthly. You see that's a huge difference. The potential for NFTs are changing the way we view creativity. Now let's talk about how you can really make money from NFTs. Well, you may have heard of the 24-year-old artist who made over $300,000 selling her art as NFTs or Rob Gronkowski selling NFTs of his best Super Bowl moments. With this news hitting social media, it's no surprise how quickly NFT rose to fame with more people jumping on the bandwagon and recently, the big techs. Now the big question would be why would anybody want to buy a non-fungible token? I mean, why would I want to pay millions of dollars for a piece of art that lives on the blockchain which everyone who wishes can see and even print and hang on their wall without my consent? Well, the more you try to wrap your head around the weird and magical world of non-fungible tokens, the more you may ask yourself why anybody would buy an NFT. Anyways, there are a few reasons why those with the spare cash are choosing to invest. The first reason why people are investing in NFT is scarcity. You know, there's nothing like a perceived sense of rarity to increase interest in a particular item. In general economics, scarcity is always a key factor to value derivation and price determination. As NFTs can only have one owner, they create this sense of scarcity by the bucket load. This encourages potential buyers to fixate on a particular piece and worry that someone else may become the exclusive owner of an NFT that they want. Think of it like when you find a pair of sneakers you want to buy and the site tells you that there's only one pair left. If you're like most of us, this increases your sense of scarcity and encourages you to commit to making the purchase even if it doesn't make financial sense for you. Now the second reason why people are investing in NFTs is collectability. Just like swapping baseball cards on the playground, NFTs are essentially trading cards for the super rich. While there's no inherent value in these cards other than what the market ascribes to them, their fluctuating worth makes their collectability and trading potential like a high-risk gambling game. 
As a result, it's easy to make comparisons between the NFT and the art market. However, unlike the art market, NFTs give artists more autonomy as they no longer have to rely on galleries or auction houses to sell their work. By cutting out the middleman, artists or creators can sell their artworks directly to buyers and keep more of the profits by doing so. Now, you be asking how exactly can I make money from NFTs? Well, there are two ways you can make money with NFT. The first is to sell your original content as NFT, and the second is to trade NFT. And this is how to sell NFTs. NFTs are generally sold on marketplaces with different processes depending on the platform of your choice. Essentially, you'll upload your content to the marketplace, turn it into NFT and wait for it to sell. It's very similar to Amazon or Etsy. If you already have a digital content portfolio for which you own the copyright, here's what you need to do next. 1. Select your marketplace, mint the NFT, and link your crypto wallet. Well, there are dozens of marketplaces for you to choose from. And these include OpenSea, Axie Marketplace, Rarible, Super Rare, and Mintable. Well, you can explore or study these marketplaces and select one that best suits your content. Your next step is to mint the NFT. In simple terms, minting an NFT is the process of turning the digital file into a crypto collectible or a digital asset on the Ethereum blockchain. Though this may sound confusing. Well, most, if not all marketplaces will provide a step-by-step -step guide on minting your NFT right on their platform. And once you've selected the marketplace, you'll have to link your funded cryptocurrency wallet. After that, upload your digital file and follow the process on your chosen marketplace. Each platform will have different processes and allow you to either sell the item as a one-off purchase or earn royalties. 2. List NFT for sale. Once you have filled out the information and your file is uploaded and minted, it's time to list it for sale. After listing it for sale, you'll notice the marketplace will calculate gas fees. This is an Ethereum blockchain network fee to record the transactions. This fee will vary depending on how busy the network is. The best way to reduce this fee is to list your product during non-peak hours, depending on the marketplace. It is important to note that creators of NFTs can equally earn royalties from the resales of their NFTs, which means creators can still earn royalties when people resale their NFTs even after having initially sold it out. However, this can only happen if the creator adds earn royalty, while creating the NFT, or when creating the smart contract, a computer programming language of the Ethereum blockchain. Now, the second option to making money with NFT is by trading it. But before we discuss this in details, please give this video a thumbs up if it has made sense to you so far, and if this is your first time of coming to our channel go ahead and subscribe now, and as well turn on the notification bell so that you will be among the first persons to get notified whenever we post educational videos like this, and that will also help you never to miss out on our any of our content. Thanks for giving this video a thumbs as that will make YouTube to show this video to many other persons, and we all benefit from the information we shared in the video. Also comment below what you think about the video so far. So, let's continue. For a fact, selling NFTs isn't just for creators. Some entrepreneurs and investors utilize NFTs like stocks and profit by buying and selling them. If you have already purchased a collection of NFTs and don't need them anymore, you can easily sell them the same way, if you were to create them yourself. The only step you'll skip is just the minting process. It's important to remember that while the process of selling NFTs may be straightforward, it may not be as easy as it seems. Minting your content and selling it will incur marketplace and Ethereum costs which can be considerably high depending on when you're putting it up for sale. Trading NFTs can come with uncertainty, given the volatility of this young market. Well, the best way to make money with NFT will differ by person. If you or your small business have money to spare, you can choose to buy an asset that will gain interest as time goes on and sell it when it appreciates. If you're a content creator, your best option would be to use NFT as an alternative way to monetize your talent. And a lot of persons are making fortunes trading NFTs. However, it is extremely risky investing in NFTs just like cryptocurrency, so ensure you consult a professional or financial advisor before making any form of investment. More importantly, only invest what you're willing to lose. Finally let's talk about the key facts about NFTs. The most important fact to note about NFTs is that, it is not a cryptocurrency. Although, it is built on blockchain and can be traded or bought with a cryptocurrency, 
The second fact is, NFTs are not relatively new, as a matter of fact, NFTs has been around since 2012, and that's about 9 years getting to 10 years, which means it's almost been around for a decade. Third fact, the first ever NFT was created in New York in the USA. The first NFT project was Colored Coins and was created in 2012. There are numerous amazing facts about NFTs, but for the sake of time, I'm sharing only three for now, and the rest of the fact will come to you on our program The Facts Spill so make sure that you're subscribed to our channel and your notification bell on so that you will not miss the video when it drops. NFTs are revolutionizing the way we think about digital assets, making their ownership legitimate and their sale secure. For many artists and collectors, NFTs represent the future, enabling financial freedom for creativity and opportunities to invest. And this remains the key factor why it's gaining traction and grabbing huge market share in the crypto world. Well, the fact is that we would be living and interacting with NFTs for the rest of our lives as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and the rest are also in NFTs, and would allow users trade, create images and profile pictures as NFTs. This is already happening on Twitter. You know, the big techs will always want their market share on any new financial trend which they believe have a future to grow big. That will be all for today's video, but before you go, please, help other persons to see this video by giving it a thumbs up, because when you do, YouTube will show the video to more persons, and we all learn and be informed about what NFTs are and how we can benefit from it. Well if this video made sense to you in any way, or you learned anything new from the video, drop me an appreciation comment below, for that will be big encouragement to me and my team. And in case you have any question about cryptocurrency, even if it's not related to this video, drop it below, and I will definitely answer them. And if your question is great, we will do a video about it and give you a shout out in the video for asking such a beautiful question. Well, you may want to share this video to anyone you think it would be beneficial to. And many thanks indeed for watching.